to scream and shout and mine it all out And scream and shout and mine it out We're saying oh, stay oh, stay oh, stay oh I'm saying oh, please no, please no, please no I'm gonna scream <laughs> anyway, hi everyone, welcome back to Terraria. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm gonna spend a lot of this episode talking about friends and friendship. Um, so if you guys don't like that kind of stuff, then just skip Terraria. I did, um, I did get told, basically, that um, I am, well, that these are boring, so I actually plant something, um, so, so I, I will talk about stuff, okay, so on to the talking. Okay, um, so let's get started. Um, hmm. Friends, uh, as you guys might know, or, well, might not know about me, is that I haven't, like, in New York, when I lived in New York, I used to have a ton of friends. Well, what I think they're friends. And then when I moved here, you know, here. moving, always, you lose friends. So, I had a couple friends, and then I really don't, you know, hang out with them too much. So, one day, I was working at my job, and a couple friends came by, and they... Am I re Please tell me I'm recording to the right... The right... The right... Right... right I am recording. <laughs> right microphone. Um... Anyway, so I was working one day, and a couple friends walk in. They were friends that weren't guys; they were girls. And then one guy, um, and they were celebrating really for because the one guy was leaving. So they came by to my job, and then they invited me to go, you know, hang out with them. And I, I really didn't know what to say because I never really had anyone ask me if I want to hang out with them. Like I have at school and stuff, but I haven't really had it here now. So, so I did that, and I went to their house, and it was, it was I really had a good time. Like I haven't had that much fun in a long time, and hopefully none of them know that I'm doing YouTube, so they will never see this video. Maybe one day in the future, but I don't care. Um, <coughs> so I really had a good time. At the end, I did kind of because like I'm a kind of like a pessimistic person. I, I look at the negative side a lot. I I really do. I don't know why. It's just the way I am. If you guys have any ideas on how to fix that, I'm up and open for ideas. So we did that, and like towards the end, I'm like, I kind of and I judge people. Okay, sorry, I, I keep getting off topic, but I judge people quite a bit. If something like goes wrong or something, or if they do something I don't like, I get in that mood where I go, well, I am probably never going to do this again. So, like, towards the end, it was kind of like, they were sick of me, it kind of felt like that. So, I just, as I was leaving, I was like, well, forget this, I'm never doing this again. Um, that's just my personality, I don't know, it, I really did have a good time. Uh, I try to ignore stuff like that, so I am happy. Uh, but then that night, after that happened, I was thinking, and one of the girls at that little gathering was someone that went to, well, all of them went to school with me. One, like, we were good friends, and then she left schools this year. Um, when I was in 11th grade, she, when I was in 11th grade, um, well, we were in 10th grade, 9th grade together, that's when we got to know each other, then 10th grade, um, and then we went to uh, 11th grade, it, then I went to 11th grade, and she went to a different school. Um, in 10th grade, I'm a pretty competitive person, so in 10th grade, we, 
we actually... I, I was competing with her the whole year, and I got really good grades at t in 10th grade. I, I was really happy with my outcome and my grades, where this year, I realized since she was gone, and I didn't really have anyone I comp like smart to compete with grade-wise, um, I realized that actually her being there and me competing with her affected my grades because this year my grades ended terribly like way worse than they would have if she was there so I didn't really know that friendship could affect someone that much it was kind of kind of awesome to find out um, and kind of depressing because I, I won't ever see her again which I, I had that thought also going out of 10th grade, the last day of 10th grade, I'm like, I'm never going to see this girl again. Um, and, lo and behold, <laughs> I saw her one more time. It wasn't the same, though. You know, if you haven't seen anyone for a year, you're, you, you kind of go, you know, you kind of don't realize what, what stuff is anymore. Well, not really stuff, but it's just awkward after you haven't seen anyone. Like some people, I guess they can get into it and go, oh yeah, and just pick up right where they left off. But well, it wasn't like that this time. And so, it's just... I found that pretty interesting. Now that's pretty much my rant. Well, not really rant, but my little talk about... Um... Friends? And that only took me seven minutes. So an hour left, guys. <clears throat> an hour for me, not an hour for you guys. So, in case you guys don't watch my Minecraft, I talk about um, this Pickle Me 2 coming out. Um, they actually made a game for the App Store for this Pickle Me 2. It is a really good game. I've been stuck playing it for a long time. Except one thing that I kind of don't like about it is, you know how in Temple Orn you have those little challenges? Where you try to like complete, like run 1,000 meters without collecting coins. Like those kind of challenges. Um, there were a good bit in the game, in the app of this big little me, like, it's kind of like, if you guys have ever played Subway Surfers, it's kind of a reskin on that, um, but it's still a pretty interesting game. Um, so I went through the achievements, and the next ones, um, are find a friend, like, make friends with this game, like, with someone you know, and I don't like when apps kind of force you so you can continue. Well, you don't have to continue. You can collect coins and upgrade your stuff, but to continue like little achievements, um, I don't like when apps force you to buy someone, or not buy someone, to um, get. Here I'm going. Wait a minute. How did I get such a bad hammer? And so I made a new one. I thought about throwing it away, but then I'm like, well, I'm gonna wait till the merchant arrives. Um. So, I don't like that the app's forcing me, that's the only complaint that I have is the app, for me to continue the achievements, the app is forcing me to, um, basically either buy more tokens, because you can skip it with tokens, or to give it, like, have a friend download the app and make friends with you, and you gotta beat, like, your friend's score, high score or something, and so I don't like when apps do that, um, because I just want to, like, either gain popularity or make money off of you somehow. So that's kind of a downside, but other than that, the game's pretty interesting. I, I really enjoy it, actually. I didn't think I would enjoy it all that much. Um, I haven't enjoyed a game, really. I, Temple Run was okay. I, I really never liked it all that much. I hated it. I didn't hate the first one. I didn't like the first one. I loved the second one. Well, not love, like, as much as I... Well, I was a big fan of the second one. They really did improve. Uh, I... I heard people complaining about how, um, how, like, this, it was really harder in the second one to get, like, a couple million points. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but in the first one, I did not even ever get a million points. In the second one, I've gotten three million. Like, it's a lot easier in the second one to get points. Not in the first one. So... I like, th yeah, I'm really happy with the game. If you guys haven't picked it up in the App Store, let me find out what it's called right now real quick. It is called, because I don't, I don't remember what it's called. 
probably called This People Me Too. No, Minion Rush. It's a really good game. I suggest you guys check it out. Um, it's really cool. Another movie that's oh, This People Me Too. I'll be in New York when it comes out. Um, sadly, and so I, I honestly think I'm gonna go watch it in New York. We have a ton of free movie tickets that my mom gets from her work. Um, and I don't really go to movies a lot, and these are two movies that I'm extremely interested in. So, like, I can't wait, really. Can't wait. Maybe go see it from some of my old friends in New York. I doubt they're still my friends. Like, I haven't met it on Facebook and everything, but I doubt that, you know, they're, like, gonna want to hang out with me. But maybe like some of my mom friends see this people me too. That'd be pretty cool. If not, I'm going by myself. They opened up my childhood movie theater. Okay, um, when I was when I was in New York, I lived in East Islip uh, when I was little. I don't live there anymore, guys. Don't go stalking for me. Um, and we used to go to the Islip movie theater. Now, after we moved out, actually, it was a little bit before we moved out. That movie theater closed, and. All my childhood, I used to watch a ton of movies in that movie theater, and I was like, I didn't, I was too young to realize that, um, you know, it's a, I don't even think I realized it closed. Like, when I, I saw it on Facebook, I was like, wait, that movie theater closed? But I do recall my mom saying the movie theater closed at one point, so, I don't know. This is a really weird slime. It's a pinky, uh, and at first I was like, that's a tiny slime, it doesn't have any health. Holy So I started using my hammer, and I'm like, I, I hover over and go, wait, what the heck? That slime has a ton of health. And I thought it would drop something really cool, but heck no, it just dropped a ton of silver. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, uh, it closed at one point, and then recently, I'm um, scrolling through my Facebook feed, and my old friends are going, yes, the East Islip Movie, or the Islip Movie Theater opened. So maybe, hopefully, I go to see Despicable Me 2 at that old movie theater, and just bring back the nostalgia. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel a lot of nostalgia. We're basically just going to relive, like, see what's, uh, like, what, how much has changed, and just, man, this is awesome. I can't wait. So excited. So this will be me too. Hopefully, I see it in my child movie theater, childhood movie theater. Man, I just, uh, what movie did I watch in that theater? I don't even remember. I remember walking in. I remember there's two movie theaters to your right when you walk in, and one like up the stairs, and then there's popcorn and concessions on your left. Like, I don't know why I picture this. Probably because it was, like, always such an awesome occasion. That, we, you know, movie theater, that's why we went. Um, and so, that's probably how I remember it. Because I used to, like, try to soak in the, um, the occasion. And, I don't know, I, I just, it's, I even remember, like, where it is. It was, like, right next to my hairdresser when I was little. Or, like, it's really close to it. I can't wait to see it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I have, and this stuff is going to be recorded when I am going, when I'm gone in New York. This is all going to be uploaded when I'm gone in New York. So I know in my Minecraft series, Slackercraft, I refer to like things that are going to happen in the future. Or I refer somehow to something where I was thinking about it earlier today. I was like, wait a minute, I'm going to be in New York. Why am I talking about this? Uh, I don't remember what I said. <clears throat> but that's basically basically what's going on. I really miss New York. I remember taking walks with my grandma. I remember my house and then the neighborhood and everything. I just it's so awesome. So another movie I want to see is The Heat. The Heat seems like a really cool movie. Like, I'm a fan of Sandra Bullock movies. Um, oh, here's where I go cave diving. Sandra Bullock is a really cool actor. If you guys haven't seen a movie by her, definitely check them out. Um, most popular ones I think are Miss Congeniality 1 and 2, and then Speed. I think she was in Speed. Was she in Speed? Was she the driver in Speed? Or was it some other lady? I think she's the driver in Speed. That was another one of the movies that I that I liked. So if you guys hear this crinkling, I'm literally crinkling this water bottle right next to the microphone.
So, yeah, it's about... I don't know, it just seems like a really cool movie. So I'm gonna go see that.